Well, how y'all are this afternoon? This is your buddy George Jones over here at the Bergen Gun Range. With my next installment on eight, I got this old used gun. The old used gun I got today is a pretty cool old gun. This is the Ruger Single Six. The original Ruger Single Six. Now, I don't know exactly when this gun was made. But they started producing this gun in 1953. This is the old flat top with the uh, drift adjustable sight and uh, no transfer bar. So this guy does not have the transfer bar set up in it. Okay, So it is a direct uh, hammer to firing pin to round setup okay now Ruger offers to even today they offer to refurbish this gun you can send this gun to them and you don't have to do it you don't have to have an FFL you don't have to go through a gun dealer to do it you can send this gun back to Ruger you know UPS or whatever uh, and uh, they will refurbish this gun for you and rebuild this gun as a transfer bar gun. Now, would I do that? Probably not for the simple reason that just about all of these guns have been refurbished in that way and there's not that many of the originals around. So they do have a certain collector following. They do have a little bit more value than one that hasn't been than one that has been converted to the transfer bar setup. Now, if I use this gun every day, I would want the transfer bar setup put in it. Uh, this is from a collector, and we're shooting this today. Uh, compliments of uh, Apache Armaments. Um, and that gang, the guy that owns Apache Armaments, is, collects these guns that he considers an oddball collection. So, you know, and he's loaned this gun to us to review. So let's look at this old gun and see how it actually works. It works just like a Colt single action revolver. Okay. The new the new Rugers, the new super single sixes and so forth, when you flop the cylinder open, it puts the or flop the gate open, it puts it in neutral. In order to get the cylinder in neutral in this design, you have to pull it back two clicks and get it on half cock. Okay? So it works just like a Colt single action uh, Frontier or something like that. So it has no manual safety on it, has no exterior safety, has no transfer bar in it. You know, uh, Bill Ruger, when he designed this gun, trusted you to operate safely. <laughs> so anyway, and that's basically how this gun works. Uh, they manufactured this gun from 1953 to 1973, and then they changed the design and come up with the transfer bar, which is an idea that they are pretty sure that idea that they copied from uh, from uh, one of the designers at H and R because H and R came out with the transfer bar first. Okay, having said all of that, I've got a freshly repaired target up down there at. Uh, 10 yards, which is probably well within the uh, marksmanship capability of this gun. Let's give it a try. Get it some more news out of here. Oh, and if you've got one of these guns and you take a notion to, uh, to uh, order you a cylinder, use cylinder off gun broker, and put in it for 22 Magnum, uh, the answer is no. Just just no, just get it out of your mind. It's, uh, a cylinder has to be timed for the specific gun that it's going in. So you buy a cylinder at a flea market and put in your gun. I don't care what it is. Okay, I don't care if it's a Rough Rider or a, <clears throat> a Buffalo Scout or an RG66 or one of these guys. Just because that cylinder fits in that gun doesn't necessarily mean you ought to put it in there. Get away with it? Yeah, you might. Uh, not, you're in trouble. <laughs> you're in big trouble. So, <clears throat> uh, 
these old greasy shells. She can't hardly pick them up one at a time in the bright sunlight. Put that in there. Just a handful of them. Work it out here. Oh, I got it loaded. Look at that. Okay, now. Let's get some ear mufflers on. We'll try this old gun out and see how it actually shoots. So it's pre-1973 construct uh, uh, production gun. So 83, 93, 2003, 2013. You know, it's 46, 47 years old. Let's go to try it. See how it shoots from the old blockitation here. Uh, it shoots rather good. <laughs> if I can get the other five in there that way, it shoots rather good. Gate, pull her back to high cock, ejectify, ejectify, ejectify. I need a thumb surgery real bad. I'm having a hard time here. Ejectify. Now there, okay. Now let's see if we can get a reload. Let me get her down here. We're going downhill with it. Let me hip us a little bit. The only thing I don't like about this uh, Arms Corps 22 ammunition is that it's uh, lubricated somehow, you know, and when they're laying out here on the table in the bright sunlight, they get oily feeling, and, but they work in everything, you know, and that may, that lubrication may be part of the scheme by which they get them to work in guns that don't work right. Because I've seen guns that this is the only ammunition that they'll work in. You know, it's like the old thing you used to say about Remington Golden Bullets. They work in guns that don't work. <clears throat> All right, let's get us, a, get us six more down there. Oh, better yet, let's see if we can hit a 25-yard, 8-inch swinger. And we can. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> he is good as a tag driver. Ding. I can't hear it hitting it down there, but I can see it move. I think that's it. This is a really good shooting little gun. Uh, I don't care who you are. Ouch. Ouch. Like I said, would you send it off for transfer bar? Uh, if this was my gun and I was using it all the time, uh, you know, uh, trapping season is coming. I generally carry a little, little uh, 22 pistol with me most all the time. I would probably carry this one, and if I was carrying this gun and working this gun, I would want the transfer bar in it because I'm just butter fingered enough to drop one. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah, otherwise you're going to put it up on the wall and say, well, there's an unconverted Ruger single six, you know, then I'd leave it that way. Uh, this gun is a real tack driver. Let's go down there and look at the accuracy of it. Just to prove if I can get it, everything hung on this chair, if I can get up. That's six. 
Uh, my first two shots were these, those two. And the next four were all in here. So that's a really nice little group. Uh, got four of them in the bullseye. You know, uh, that gun shoots, shoots really well. Uh, I was wearing that, uh, you can see it down there, that steel dinger in the middle, the one down low on the frame. I was hitting it every single time, you know, without aiming real hard. And that works out real good. So, you know, if you see these guys around, now, in today's market, this gun is worth, well, I'd say this gun's worth $400, you know, maybe a little bit more because it's unconverted, you know, that makes it a fairly, in today's world, makes it a fairly unique gun because it's the un, one of the unconverted ones. Uh, don't exactly know when this gun was made. They quit making this gun in 1972 and picked up the new one in 1973 and have converted hundreds of thousands of them, you know, and are still looking for more to convert. Uh, really nice gun. I'd say it's worth $400 like it sits. It's got about 90% finish on it. Uh, it's got a few scuffs on the butt. And the back strap where you would expect to find them. Uh, someone has put the orange, beat me to painting the orange on the front sight. But uh, it could use it, you know. <clears throat> and it comes off here pretty easy. Okay, and this is, yeah, this is just a nice little 22 pistol. Well, I tell you what, that's about the size of it right there. Uh, like, take, share, fire, commentate, and some scribble. Uh, leave me no dollar in the Patreon bucket on the way out the door, and I plan to promise to use that money correctly. Uh, and that's, I'll see you when I see you. Y'all have fun now. We'll see you. Bye.